Well, I'm about to do something I absolutely despise uh, when I see other people doing it, and that is use the earth wire uh, for power. Um, really, generally a bad idea, but uh, in this case, I'm just going to go for it. So, uh, what I'm wiring up at the minute is the connector uh, that goes in here um, for the uh, home switches, and as you can see, I need five wires, and I've got five pins and I've got five core cable and one of those cores is the earth so uh, I'm going to use the earth as the plus 12 volts because uh, that way I've got two um, I, oh, get the cable in I've got the uh, blue and the black I've got, the, I've got the blue and the black to act as the grounds and uh, the, the brown and the grey to act as the signal wires so it, basically the, the earth, the one that will be green and yellow uh, will be the one that's most obvious obviously not one of the other four now I could I, I, I could probably get away with this because um, this ground here and uh, this ground are actually the same they're, they're the same ground point uh, so I, I could just combine those um, and not use the earth wire, but uh, I think in this situation it's uh, it's it's okay. I, I'm going to tag the earth wire with a piece of brown uh, sheath, which I, which I've got from when I wired the house. So uh, at least it 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 won't be <laughs> entirely terrible. <laughs> but uh, I apologise for all the purists out there. There we go. That's the connector wired up, as you can see. I've tagged the earth uh, with a little bit of brown sheath. Uh, I'll do the same the other end so that will make it really obvious um, that it is actually a live wire and not an earth and it will also distinguish it from the real brown. Now I'll just fit that back onto the case and then it's time to put the kids to bed. So uh, that's my CNC done for another day. I've got the uh, the home socket wired up now as you can see it's um, it's quite a squeeze in there uh, damn I wish I bought a bigger case but it's this cable here uh, runs along there and into the bob um, I've got almost no space between uh, this piece of uh, trunking and and the uh, bob it's a uh, yeah, slight design flaw. When when I was fitting the bob, uh, I thought I had enough space to put this piece of trunking in. So, um, not following the design I made, I screwed that into place and uh, then put the bob in. And I forgot to leave myself enough space to access these connectors. Which, uh, yes, I feel a bit silly about that. Um, but anyway, uh, if I just take out a few of these little breakout bits um, it's not too bad I can I can get in there with a, it's a bit of a squeeze but it works now I'm going to do the e-stop circuit which is oh, that connector to ground and I'll also do the K which is machine stop which is these two connectors and I'm going to wire that down to the e-stop socket um, that's not as per the diagram but um, right now I think that's probably the most sensible place to put it. I can always unwire it if necessary. So I've just discovered something about the stepper drives that I didn't realise before. I had assumed that these green plugs were wired hard down onto the circuit board. Um, but they're not. They're, they're actually plugs. How cool is that? Now that's particularly useful for me uh, because this drive up this end um, is a little bit too close to the motor. Let me see if I can get my screwdriver 
this one is a bit too close to the motor for me to get in. So I have been using this stupid little screwdriver from a Christmas cracker. Now admittedly I modified the end so it was a better fit for the screw but uh, still it was a bit of a pain in the bum and I feel a bit stupid using a little tiny little pink handle screwdriver. And if or when I put in the fifth drive which would go these are the mounting points for it um, probably even my stupid little pink screwdriver wouldn't fit so uh, the fact that these all unplug and and they do all seem to unplug uh, is a real bonus so I like these drives even more than I did before uh, that's the limits in uh, down here uh, the limits are at the top and the machine hold uh, is the grey and black wires at the bottom and that runs around to here and next I'm going to wire up the alarms which if memory serves go on these two pins next to um, the e-stop it's uh, starting to get fairly full down here now um, I've managed to get these cables fairly nicely routed though I think I, um, there's the VFD to go in here uh, and the fifth stepper if it if it materialises down there but uh, that's pretty much all the cables now the VFD cable will actually run this way will be running down there so that won't get in the way and the fifth stepper cable will just about fit in here I think The alarm cable is going to be running this way round and connects in series, uh, sorry, in parallel to all of these. The only really big job left now in terms of the wiring, um, well, we've got the alarm I just mentioned, and then across here uh, is the stepper control wires, the low voltage wires and they're going to run from there up be clamped across here, run across there and I'm going to have to do something to connect them across here I'll probably just use a load of these um, zip tie connection points uh, I don't really want to pierce the side of, of the case if I can get away with not doing it and then they'll run along here and just branch out across I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it realistically Thank you.